Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl TJ. We are here with a $45 unit from Shein. This is a T-part wig. She's a curly synthetic unit and I'm just taking her out. I'm doing a little filler roof feeling on her and she does give synthetic. Okay, <laughs> but this is how she looks overall and this is the construction. Like I said, it is a T-part unit so you get a middle part with edges and that's it. Okay. I'm putting her on my head for the first time <laughs> and look at my face y'all that wig was super duper small it fits so snug so for all my big head girls baby I barely got my head in here so I would definitely not recommend it I'm like why didn't y'all construct this unit like y'all constructed the other wig I did this wig was small but I'm loving those curls though gonna first get started by tinting the lace i am using my red by kisses lace tinting spray in the shade um brown and i'm just gonna go ahead and lightly cover up the lace like i said the lace is transparent so you do need to tint it so it matches in with your or blends in with your skin tone you can use foundation or you can use uh, concealer as well so after that i'm just gonna go ahead and seal it in with some hairspray this step is optional you don't really have to do this because it dries down on its own and then i'm gonna follow up with my blow dryer on a hot heating setting and allow it to dry <laughs> me struggling to put this back on but look y'all look how well it blends once it is tinted tinted <laughs> and look y'all it looks like i'm cutting my actual forehead but it's just a lace okay but it is tight because y'all seen that wrinkling it is tight but i'm just gonna go in with some scissors my shears and cut off that lace that we not need i cut fairly close to the hairline the less the lace the better in my opinion We're going to go ahead and scoot the wig back and prep for installing. So if you just cut the lace off your head and put it on your head, this is how it look. It don't look that appealing. So we're going we gonna to fix her up, okay? So anyway, I'm using my Ebb and Wonder Lace. This is the Supreme version. And I'm just going to go ahead and start in the center of my forehead. I'm not going to put too much product here because like I stated before in the beginning of the video, this wig is super duper small. So I just want a little bit so my wig won't slide back because even though it is snug, it will still slide back without product. So I put like a thin layer on there, just one. And I'm just going to allow that to get tacky. I'm going to go ahead and tap it, do my little finger check, and if it is tacky enough, you can go ahead and pull it down. Like I said, make sure the uh, wig is lined aligned with where you place the product, and you can also use the back of your comb to help it lay down. But like I said, the center of that wig is snug, so you're not going to need much help doing that. And by the way, my head circumference is a 21.4-ish, 5-ish for anyone wondering. I'm going to continue to do this in its entirety until my wig is laid completely down. as you can see on the side here it's not much lace here so you can't do any type of plucking because it is a t-part unit and yeah it's just tracks over there so do be mindful of that you can do baby hairs in the center no baby hairs on the sides because it's just straight up track Now she is fully installed. I'm gonna go ahead and use my elastic band and we're gonna let this sit for about two to three minutes. I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten up the part. Y'all know I love my parts to be a little bit crispy, a little bit more straight. So I'm just gonna take my end of the comb and straighten it up as straight as I can get it. I also love to use my comb to, you know, send it in the center of my nose to see if it's straight. I think I'll show you guys that, but sometimes I'll be thinking my part is straight and it's going crooked. So I always do that to be sure. 
next morning uh, with a little bit of my foam wrap lotion to you know flatten out that area before i actually put my concealer in i could have just used a hot comb but you know foam wrap lotion will work the same i'm just going in with my cream kisses cream foundation and i'm just using that lighter shade to define the part Now, I'm just trying to see, girl, we, we got to customize it, okay? Because it's looking a little bland. It's giving wiggy. It's giving cosplay. So we got to do a more work to it, okay? But if you don't do no work and this is all you want to do, this is how it's going to give, okay? This is what you're going to look like. We're going to go back in. I'm following up with my hot comb. I do put my hot comb on the, the setting of five when I'm doing synthetic hair because since I ain't trying to burn up the wig now, all right? But now I'm just pushing the hair upwards. I'm trying to see, cause y'all know I like that little bump in the front, that little poofiness. I don't know, I just feel like it shapes the unit better. I am going in with baby hair. So if you guys are not a fan of baby hairs, you can skip the step, you don't have to do it. But um, I just want some baby hairs to just add a little bit more customization and personality to the unit. Like I said, towards the middle section, you do have room, there's a little bit of lace where it looks like scalp so you can create your baby hairs but you can't do that on the side so i went ahead and cut at an angle and i'm gonna go ahead and use my gel and go ahead and form and mold my baby hairs to my liking now you can use a pencil flat iron to uh curl your uh baby hairs on synthetic units y'all i did it in one of my synthetic uh videos in december i think and i was like baby i've been sleeping on that step but i was too lazy this day to actually go in my room and grab it and do it so i just freeform my baby hairs but if you struggle with baby hairs just get yourself a pencil flat iron and baby it's gonna get the job done but now i'm just going back in to set that little bump up there i'm using the back of my comb as hot comb as well to mold it in place i wish i could go up in that area and pluck because baby that would have been fire but anyway we, we got work with what we got so i'm just using the back of my comb well, you know, rotating between the front and the back to get that part to stay. And I added some hairspray as well. So that won't be falling down, you know, throughout the day. pretty much the end of the video i'm just gonna you know wrap this video up by using some more of my foam wrap lotion to put the hairs that came out of place back in place overall y'all this was a bomb that come wig now i docked some points off of this wig because it was so freaking snug so i probably give the wig a seven out of 10 because of the the construction if that construction was made like the other shein wig i reviewed baby this would have been a 10 out of 10 now um i haven't experienced any shedding with this unit because i haven't gone in and and detangled the unit with a comb or anything normally with synthetic curly units i just use my hands and finger to tangle so, this is pretty much to this video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and until my next one your girl will see you later bye guys